Hello everybody, what is up? It is Nissan Robert on and sorry if there was a random cut there and sorry if I'm talking like I just started the video because well the truth of the matter is that I actually lost to this guy and so I am refighting him now. Um and this time I'm a lot higher level and as you can clearly tell, I'm a lot more powerful, and there is so much slowdown right now. As you can see, my level is 50, and so is Pies, and Pierce Curves is, um, 48, which is pretty good. Huh. Did somebody curse? Oh, well. Um, anyways, as for my equipment, I have the, uh, Poison Needle equipped, and this is the, uh, weapon that you get from, uh, winning the, uh, Demon Palace Arena tournament, and... Yeah, it's a really good weapon. The best twin blade. Well, actually, not really the best twin blade, but uh, yeah, it's pretty good twin blade. So now that all of my characters are leveled up and stuff, I should be able to defeat them. Oh, it's Heroes who is cursed. I should be able to defeat this guy because last time I lost, but he had like a thousand HP left uh, last time. Um, oh, come on, come on, come on. And I just got cursed from getting him. Uh, I'm doing pretty good so far, actually. He's already almost down to uh, 2,000. Uh, I released that too soon. I love the twin needles, especially since the uh, uh, effect of it. The way that you can hold it and then charge it up and then uh, release it and it slashes him a bunch of times. It's so awesome looking. Man, this guy is really slowing me down. But anyways, like I said, I lost to this guy and I also lost to the uh, doppelganger uh, optional boss. But I plan on uh, refighting the doppelganger as well. And once I defeat this guy, I believe he gives you a really, really cool accessory. Ow. Dang, he's a And great, now I'm hurt, so I'm losing SP. And like every time you touch him, I get cursed. Hopefully I get another Ringeki on him soon, and then he's awakening. Ow, not again. Oh, thank you for healing me, Pi. Oh yeah, that's right, and I gave uh, Pi and uh, Pyros a couple of uh, um, spells. Uh, rep and uh, a couple of other spells. So, like, ma mainly healing spells, but then again, those are the only good spells. The attack spells aren't all that good. And he's already down to 2,000. Well, he's actually almost down to 1,000 now. Which is a good thing. And I'm about to get my Beast Awakening, which I should be able to use to finish him off. I just wanted to do that first. Um, yeah. I'm hoping that I can defeat the uh, um, doppelganger because because uh, I really want to get started on Pikmin, but I can't get started on Pikmin until I uh, complete every bonus episode in this game. Of course, like I said, though, in another one of my bonus videos for this, um, I'm not trying to show everything. I'm not going to show every single thing that there is to show because that would take forever. But I'm just going to show the main things. Originally, I was planning to show all of my fights against the Blacklist PKers, but I decided to scrap those. And I decided to uh, put the uh, optional bosses as the uh, first video in the bonus episodes. So, that's a, that's, that's a good thing. But the last bonus episode is probably going to be really boring. It's going to be showing a bunch of random stuff. Including a side quest that I should have done a while ago before the end of the game. And also, when I fought the doppelganger, I didn't have these twin blades equipped either. So, I only equipped these twin blades um, while I was grinding and leveling up. And he is 
he's dead. I should have explained some of his moves more, but whatever. And wow, we did not get a lot of experience with that. Oh, the black armor? Is that what it was called? Yeah, that's a really good armor. And he's dead now. CC Corp sure made that one annoying. Well, I guess this ends the Mark of Offering event. Strong enemy. Relax. You're not weak. Pyrrhos the third <laughs> is simply too <Yeah>. strong. <laughs> yep, so that's the end of that side quest. Thank God I finally got that out of the way. But don't worry, we'll be seeing that guy again soon in the uh, second game. Although, now that I think about it, it might not be soon at all, it might take a while, but whatever. Dang! Word of Vigor, Word of Spirit, and Text of Power. Those are good. Let's see, Text of Power, most definitely. Ooh, this will attack up by three. I don't really like the Text of Wisdom because it increases magic, and I don't really have a use for magic, but... Um, increase, or increase maximum HP by 25, that's, eh, that's okay, increase maximum SP by 25, that's a lot better, so yeah, okay, so I guess that's it for this bonus episode, I will see you guys, well, later on in this video, okay, see you then, bye. Hello everybody, what is up? It is me, Son Robert on, and this is going to be a bonus episode for Let's Play Hack. And I'm sorry if the volume on my last, uh, in the first half of this video was really low. It turns out that I didn't have my, uh, uh, microphone plugged in, so I was speaking into my computer's, um, um, internal microphone. So that did not pick up my voice nearly as well as it should have. So, yeah, now I'm using my actual microphone. Which I think is now picking up my voice a little bit too well because I'm want I'm looking at the Audacity screen and right now and it's like going crazy. Well, anyways, I should you know get on subject. Um, what I'm going to do in this episode is I'm going to go and fight the uh, doppelganger and um it has to be a field I believe and the doppelganger will always be eight levels higher than you. Which is why I consider him to be one of the hardest enemies in the game. And the doppelganger will also always have higher stats than you, always better equipment. Pretty much, he will always be better than you. Yeah, yeah it's not very nice, but whatever. And it doesn't matter what the area is, unless it's a field. Uh, these are all dungeons. Come on! Uh, I guess the first, uh, area where decides whether it's a dungeon or not. Come on! Dude, are you serious? Okay, there we go. Oh my gosh. Great. Now it's a lower area. Oh, well. Whatever, you know what? It doesn't matter. It, it really doesn't. Okay, I guess I'll choose this place, even though it's only a level 20 area. And what you do, it, what you have to do in order to get the doppelganger to appear, um, on one website it says you're supposed to wait 10 minutes, but I actually believe it's only 5 minutes, because the last time I tried to record my fight against the doppelganger, um, I only waited about 5 minutes, and then I beat him in. Ooh, the fate worm. Well, the fate worm's not that good, but I was hoping for a better lucky animal. Because what the Fate Worm does is it just gives you money. So, I don't really- What the heck? Dang. 
I just did a lot of damage right there. I mean a lot of damage. I guess I'll give the text of wisdom to Pi and one to me. Because even though I don't like magical attack, I'll take it anyway. And this battle area is getting on my nerves. What you have to do in order to get the uh, um, doppelganger to appear is you pretty much just have to avoid getting into any battles or just stay still for like five minutes and then he should appear and uh right now i'm pretty much ready to fight him i've got and i got a lot of stuff 30 healing serums 20 spirit drops a spirit rain antidote sodas warrior bloods all this stuff and 20 revival medicines these should help a lot and the moon the moon should help a lot too Fairy's Orb, I don't really need that, but these, these are pretty much buffs and debuffs, so I want those. So, yeah. And also, last time I tried to fight him, I, I didn't have this equipped, which is pretty much one of the best things in the game. Oh yes, the black armor. Oh my lord, this is such a good armor. It's gonna decrease my maximum, um, HP and my light to 5. Wow, that's low. But... Look at that! It increases your... Like, how, how much is my defense right now? Uh, it's 50, my attack is 61, my magic attack is 23, and my magic defense is 48. Watch how much it increases it. 64 attack, 55 um, defense, 26 magic attack, 55 magic defense, 16 to dark, and not to mention the... Uh, things that it has on it uh, you can't uh, you can't even look at them can you oh yeah you can it has two SP eaters which what it does is it increase all parameters by gradually consuming SP which sounds kind of bad but at the same time it's also really good so yeah I will be sitting here and waiting and losing my SP while I wait for the doppelganger to uh, show up. Or better yet, I could just change my uh, black armor to uh, the Vigor alloy, which I had equipped, and wait for the uh, doppelganger to appear, and then uh, change to my black armor. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. See you guys in about uh, five minutes. I don't know. Okay, everybody, what is up? I'm back. Uh, my timer is now up to uh, 10 minutes, and the doppelganger is right over there. He appeared. Thank God he did not... Uh, thank God he did not appear while I was uh, away from my computer, otherwise that would be bad. Oh, and yes, this is the doppelganger, a symbol of death that wanders around the area. Be on guard when dark clouds appear on screen. He is coming at you from the direction of the red arrow. He is very powerful, so run before he catches you, unless you wish to fight him, which I am about to do. And you may see that he's blinking green there, well, guess what, he is constantly regenerating health, which is not nice. And you might be thinking, well, if he's wielding twin blades, why don't I just switch to a heavy blade? Well, that doesn't work either, because he switches your, uh, whenever you switch weapons, he switches weapons. So, that's not useful at all. I really wish I could have gone to a better area, like an area with a uh, lucky animal that uh, that um, inflicts damage to him right away, or uh, boosts our uh, stats or something like that, but no. And also, another good ideal is to go to an area with high-level monsters, go around fighting the high-level monsters to increase your morale gauge, that way you can use Beast Awakening right away. But unfortunately, again, um, I don't have that. So now I'm gonna fight him. Oh, Ooh, wow! Down. I actually got a strike on him. What? How did he? Oh my god! Oh my god! He's just destroying me. So yeah, um, it's smart to have a lot of healing items. Dude, why is he just constantly attacking me? It's ridiculous. Die! 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 Ah, uh, but of course, he's healing about as fast as I can deal the damage out. 
But uh, eventually I'll get him. Hmm. Oh, increase an ally's physical attack value by three. I'm going to do that on mine. Eventually he'll go down. Um, sorry if I'm not talking a lot. I'm just oh, concentrating on not being absolutely destroyed. Oh, did he confuse me? Okay, no, he didn't. Night blood to really increase now his physical defense value. Um, I'm going to use that on me. And wizard blood to really no, I don't need that. Warrior seal, yes, definitely need that. And also, let's just keep beating on him until he goes down. But my lord, he's healing about as fast as we can dish out the damage. Um, uh, I think we're in for a long run. Huh, for some reason my Beast Awakening wasn't working there. But now that we've gone into Beast Awakening mode, I can just dish out the damage. Oh yeah, dishing out the damage. Wait, how did that not hit him? Oh well, uh, but our morale is about to run out, but... Dang it, now he's healing. Oh man, and I missed my chance to get a Rengeki on him. But at least we're just all constantly dealing damage on him. We're all constantly beating him. And if we get another uh, Beast Awakening like we did earlier, then we will win this easily. Unfortunately, he's starting to regain HP, which is not good, and he is just starting to get on my nerves now. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Um, let's use some healing items on Kai. Oh, he's using the same weapon as me. What a cheater. And let's use that on Pyros. Oh, what? He canceled it out, jerk. Oh man, he's already back up to 300. It's okay though, it's okay. Once we get the uh, Beast Awakening on him, he will go down. So, a good idea could also be to just sit back and watch your allies kill him. That's also a good idea, but um, of course he is not going to give up that easily. He is going to try and stop you from doing this. But just focus on getting Rengekis on him. Don't even worry about his health until you go into Beast Awakening mode. Uh, about one more should do it. Um, well, actually, you should worry about your health, but... Oh, did I accidentally heal somebody? Oh, yeah. But then they healed me. That's a good thing. And I'm gonna heal myself, of course. Come on, let's beat up on him. Let's beat up on him. If his health is too high, then we won't be able to do anything. Oh, yes, here we go. This is it. Okay, this should give me enough morale to uh, do a Beast Awakening and kill him. Come on, come on. Beast Awakening, Beast Awakening. Okay, thank you. Whew. That was close. Ugh, I almost missed my chance. But this should be the end of him. And it is over. Die. Whew. That was nothing. And we won. And I am completely maxed out. And I got the Ulm King. What is the Ulm King, you might be wondering? Well, what is the Ulm King? I believe it's a, an equipment. Oh, great. I forgot to equip my black armor. Great. Where is it? Um, no, that's not it. Huh, GP plus 10. Eh, that's not bad. And it increases your stats by a lot, but... Um... What was that? The Ulm King? I don't even know. Uh, um... Well... Okay, uh, well... That was interesting. So, I beat the Doppelganger. Once and for all. Now, that's finally all of the bonus footage that I have to show. And, I will see you guys in my next Let's Play. Goodbye.